Thank you, Christine. I agree with uh, uh, almost all the things that you said. But what I want to add here is that uh, what uh, we are discussing today and what we should be worried about is not a matter of being in favor of against the COVID vaccines. The issue today is whether we are supposed to leave European citizens without a safeguard of their fundamental rights and precisely the right to have a job, to be treated equally by institutions without any discrimination, and the right to protect the integrity of their bodies, choosing in complete freedom whether to accept or not a sanitary treatment. All citizens must be free to choose what risks they want to run for their own, own health and what risks they are not ready to face. The mandate for COVID certificates to work is just an extortion of consent to a personal choice about one's own body, and it violates human rights as enshrined in the European chart and in many EU laws. We are here standing to call for the respect of European fundamental values and freedom, for non-discrimination and for human dignity. If we accept the mandate of a digital certificate for the exercise of our fundamental rights, we won't be entitled of those rights, just as human beings, as longer, but will be subjected to some authority's permission to live our lives in liberty. Is this the model of society we want to live in? Is this the Europe that we were elected to represent? Are human rights optional according to our fundamental values? My answer is no, no, no. We received our mandate directly by European citizens and we owe total respect to them above any other private or public subject. No one, no intermediate body is legitimated to prevent us from exercising our mandate unless we commit a crime and the whole parliament decides to revoke our dip diplomatic immunity that the treaties grant us. The parliament bureau can't violate our MEP's guarantees for any reason and it can't rip off EU workers' rights as well. We'll defend our rights and your rights by all means, from legal to political to physical. It's no more time for fear and hesitance. Today, it's high time to be courageous and united. That's what we are. Thank you.